This is tissue paper ironed onto freezer wrap. You're not going to be able to probably see this, but this is the freezer wrap. It's got wax on one side. Some people call this butcher paper. This is tissue paper. What I like to do is I like to crumble it up in a ball so I have texture, texture on it. And then you take the waxy side and you place the freezer wrap waxy side onto the back of the tissue paper and then and then use a hot iron to melt it on. You know you got it right when it, it won't peel off and it's just it's um, adhered to two. So it makes a great envelope. You just again this is not much of an image here but this is uh, you use the window to line up an image if you have one. You tear the paper against the edge of the template. Remember always to pull towards the center. This is a big mistake people make when they're tearing this paper. Sometimes they want to tear it like this and when you do that it sneaks underneath here. So you always just want to remember to pull towards the middle on a slight angle. So here's my paper. You rip it, you flip it, you realign the template over here to the notch, drop this piece in the middle, and then just fold around the sides. Make sure you pull it tight against the edge of the template and crease it all the way top to bottom. This little piece is a little normal part supposed to be there. Just fold it under. Gives you a little bit of extra reinforcement in the corners. If you really want, you can snip it with a scissor. And then here's this paper. You can't feel this, but this has got a really cool texture to it. 